Hi, my name is Alan Grosswert, and I am interviewing Turner about the Woodier earthquake. What is your name? What earthquake were you in? My name is Turner Nguyen, and I was actually in the 1987 Whittier Narrows earthquake. Where were you when the earthquake happened at that time? And what were you doing? I was uh, a freshman in high school, which I believe I was 15, because it happened in 1987. And at the time, I was actually at school because I believe it happened at 7.42 a.m. I, I was in the hallway outside, and I was in front of my homeroom uh, waiting for school to start. At first, I didn't realize that it was an earthquake. I, I, I thought that uh, a large truck had actually just uh, came on to the parking lot of the campus, and so... I mean, at first it was a really slow, rolling kind of feeling underneath your feet. Um, and when I realized it was an earthquake was when the, um, the hallway that we're in, which was made of metal, um, the top of the roof of the hallway was slamming up against the building and it made this incredible loud sound. And it just was just constant and it was like thunder. and. That's when I realized that, that it was an earthquake. And of course, you know, underneath your feet, you feel like, like your legs are made of jello. And so, um, yeah, and there was no doubt that we're definitely in an earthquake by that time. Was there damage at your house? My school um, actually didn't really suffer any damages other than just, you know, a lot of books falling off bookshelves and whatnot in the library and a few desks, you know, moving around here and there. Um, at my house, though, we definitely saw a lot of uh, picture frames and, and things that were sitting on top of tables fall and break. Um, so there was, there was probably more damage to, to our house than there was at school. What did you learn from experiencing an earthquake? Uh, what did I experience? This earthquake actually um, caused a lot of damage uh, in Whittier. Um, uh, a lot of falling buildings, damaged cars, a lot of, um, you know, windows being broken. And in fact, there are a few uh, um, fatalities as well. So for me, the experience was really scary and intense. And uh, it's something that um, you're not quite used to because earthquakes really don't happen that often. And so when it did happen, it was just... It was um it was like being in a movie, you know, it's something that you just you, you you're not prepared for and when it does happen you just need to know what to do. So um yeah. How are you prepared for the next earthquake? For the next earthquake I think um I think I'm much more uh, prepared in terms of safety. Um, having the earthquake kit, uh, where you know you have um, bottled water, batteries, uh, perhaps a radio, just basic necessities uh, like a first aid kit, uh, just in case if there's damage to your home or wherever you are, you know you have something that you can use to to help yourself and and maybe the people around you. But more than anything else, I realize that's really important to to really be prepared and know what uh, what type of safety precautions you can take to ensure that you're not going to get hurt. Um, that's what I learned the most actually from this earthquake. Thank you for letting me interview you.